One, two, three groups go in this one. Uh, four, five, five, six, seven, eight go in this one. Yeah. Is that the way it is? Take the stuff to uh, different locations. So we really get them unloaded, and then we'll. Boy, these guys travel the Look at the those buses. The stuff on, is morning. gonna. We're gonna pull the the vans over there to. and I know you're used to that in school. That'll be really important here, too, because there'll be a lot of people that'll have things that they want to share with you. So it's very, very important to give them your attention. I appreciate that. My name is Patty, Patty Mueller, and I'm the program director at Camp St. Croix, which is where you are now, in Wisconsin here. And I want to welcome you all here on behalf of myself. And there's eight other staff that you'll get a chance to meet while you're here. They aren't all right here right now, but you'll get a chance to meet them. OK, is everyone comfortable? People are kind of jittering around a little. Well, have a seat. Get yourself comfortable. You'll be here a little bit. Oh, yeah, floors are hard. I realize that. OK, okay listen up now. I have a few things that I do need to go over here. So if I can have your attention. One thing that I want to show you, something that we use here to help get everyone's attention is that we raise our hand. And that means that your mouth immediately goes closed if someone raises a hand. And you also raise your hand to get everyone else's attention. So that's something that you'll see us use here. Please try and try and uh, respond to that as quickly as possible. And then we can move on to other things. Something that I want to talk about that's really important is kind of a uh, kind of, uh, code that we live by here, kind of a, a set of rules or a very important thing that we live by here. And it has to do with 
care. Does everyone know about caring? Yeah. Taking care of? And it has to do with respect. Does everyone know about respect? Yeah. yeah. And respecting something? Okay. Here at Camp St. Croix, we respect and take care of ourselves. Very important that we take care of ourselves. We do that by being really careful about where we're hiking. Come here, Sam. You respect me. I'm talking to you. Okay. Um, we're being really careful where we hike. We don't go running down the ravines because we could get hurt. We take care of what we're wearing. We dress properly. So if it's raining out, we wear a raincoat and rain boots or whatever. So we take good care of ourselves. And we take good care of each other and respect each other. So raise your hand and tell me how you can take care of other people around you and show respect for other people around you. Does anyone have any idea? Raise your hand if you have any idea. Wendy. Someone's running Sure. Tell them to stop running, kind of take care of them. Yeah. 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 I got it. Don't put that on the ground. Just throw it on the ground. My shoulder hurts. Shut it down. Shut it down.
One of the things that we're going to do is we're going to do um, a trust fall, okay? You're going to find out what a trust fall is, and that's going to take all of you guys are going to have to cooperate, and you're going to have one one of you guys, and everybody's going to get a chance to do it, is going to have to, to trust the rest of the group, all right? So you have to trust the rest of the group with your, you're going to fall into the group, and the whole group is going to catch you, and you're going to fall, and you're not going to use your hands or anything, you're just going to fall right in, okay? That's one of the things. That's part of the. That's part of the obstacle course. You guys called. You guys heard of the obstacle course. There's going to be some other things we're going to do. Okay. Okay. And so we're going to do a little thing on. Uh, uh, issue. We're going to talk. About, we're, as we talk about cooperation. We're going to try something with cooperation. And the first thing you have to do is stand up, and everybody has to. You can put your books down. Just Wait, leave your books on the ground. Just charge. No, everybody has to t grab hands. Okay. Hold hands. Okay. I want you to stay right where you are, and you hold hands. Okay. And you just stand right where you are and don't move. The rest of you guys, everybody's holding hands, right? So you're, that you're doing great. You guys are doing exactly what you're supposed to do. Good. Good. You stand right there. Don't move. Hold hands. Hold hands. You gotta hold hands. Good. Okay, we're just gonna wrap around and stand. Don't. Give him some more space. There you go. There you go. That's it. Keep going. Don't let, don't, don't let him wrap so much. Hold on. Doesn't matter. Be comfortable though, because you're gonna be like this for a little while. So you're gonna, you just on ramp. Keep wrapping around, okay? That's it. This time, don't let go. Don't twist around the center. Don't, don't make it. It's okay. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Don't twist. Don't turn. Don't turn. You're supposed to wrap around this guy. The whole group is. How come you're turning? The more you turn, the more... This bandana out of his lap, which he can't hang on to, okay? He's got to keep his hands by his side or back there. That's good. Now, the way we have to get this is we, we have to be like wolves are. And wolves are pretty tricky because they're tricky enough that they can, they can catch a deer. And, and we already said that deer are swift and sly and quick and all those things. And if wolves can catch deer and eat them, that makes the wolves pretty clever too, right? So what you guys have to be is wolves for a while, and you guys can open your, you can leave your eyes open. What you gotta do is sneak up on him and try to pull bandana out of his lap without getting hurt. Okay. Now, when he, if he hears you say, "I'm coming in," making a lot of noise like this, and you can hear me, right? Look. What you're gonna do to kill me? 
bad, or in other words, you're going to be getting away from the wolves into the predators, you're just going to take your arm and you're going to point it at me. And you can point, point your arm at me. Okay, see, he can tell where it is. And he'll know that if you get pointed at, you've made too much noise and he killed you. Okay? So then you have to go out to the, out of the outer circle and start again. All right? Now, if you do manage to get up here and grab the scarf without being pointed at and killed, then you get to be the next deer. Oh, one thing, Luke, is you can't sweep your arm all the way around to kill everyone because you have to hear them and point directly at them, okay? Ready, go. <laughs> okay, he got that pretty quick. You didn't hear him? Okay, well, since you're, no, you're in the middle one. chance to do it. Oh, got to keep your feet together, Kim. I even, you can't even ask to push. You have to. Oh, you can't push. Just got to kind of gently nudge her over to the other side. <laughs> got to be ready when she comes your way. Oh, just a minute. Let's give Kim one more minute. Oh, yeah. Hi. How's that ride, Kim? Okay. Was it a little bit rough? Okay, so that means that the people around you have to be a little bit more gentle, a little bit more careful. I tell you what, let's start right here. We'll go right around the circle for everybody. Get their okay. Okay, and you got to keep those keep those legs together. What was your name? There's, there's a ravine right over here that nobody has gone and looked in yet for morels. And there's a, there's a couple places. Who knows what an elm tree looks like? You know what? Okay. Now I'm generally kind of, you know what a vase looks like? A flower vase? Yeah, kind of down here and then it spreads out? Yeah. I picked it up. Okay, there's... This is snake skin. So that's a shoe strap. Okay. Okay. Oh, great. around here some of them you might be familiar with and some of them you probably have never even heard of and we're gonna pick them in different ways and we're gonna bring them back here and we're gonna make some natural dyes out of them okay the last class let me show you what they did when they were in here we picked lots of different plants and these are the dyes that we made Let's see if you can all see that now some of them came out brighter than others like we had two different kinds of yellow and we had a tan and kind of a brown this was the original color that we started with, okay? We're all going to go and collect some plants and make some, okay? What are some things that we need to remember when we're out collecting plants? What do we have to be careful of? Why don't you raise your hand, somebody? Not to step on any of them. Okay, why don't we want to step on plants? Right, good. Okay, what else do we need to be careful of? Poison ivy. There is some out there. Do you know what that looks like? No, yeah, no. Yeah. Relief, but yeah. that's Okay, there's a simple rule kind of to remember poison ivy. It goes like this Leaflets three, leave it be. That means anything with three leaves, don't touch. Okay? You can't get poison ivy just by touching the plant itself, only if you break it open. It's the inside of the stuff that you can get it from. So we need to be real careful and use our eyes real well, okay? So, so it's three leaves and that's what you have something, right? Mm -hmm. Is that in, um, yeah. yeah, little, little tiny dots. You usually don't see them real clearly. Okay, what else do we need to be careful of? We're going to go out and pick some plants. Do we want to take gobs and gobs no. of them? No. How come? How come? So people will still be able to see some of them. Okay. Like, we just want to take one, one of one kind. Okay. We're going to need more than one, usually. But you know what part of the mustard plant you eat? Can you guess? Well, what, what is that part called? It's, um, what is this part of the plant? The blossom? The flower, yeah, yeah the blossom. Good. Okay. What part do you think the mustard that you eat comes from? The flower, okay. maybe? Yeah. What? 
right here. Why do you think that? <laughs> Just a guess? Well, it comes from the seed, actually. And do you know where the seed is on that plant right now? No. Everybody look at it. Look at a flower. Get close to one. Hold it in your hand. Look around. Hey, it's in the flower. It's, it's in, in the, the flower. flower. It's in the flower? Yeah. In the Can flower. you see it with your eyes right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Where's it at? There it is. Okay, now that's a flower that hasn't opened yet. Let's see. Uh -huh. This thing's in the blossom? Actually, you can't see the seed yet. That's kind of a tricky sister. question. When is the seed going to show up? Will you be able to see it, do you think? In fall, maybe. In fall, maybe? Maybe, but I bet it'll come before then. I want you guys all to look over here. Do you see any seeds around here? Look no. around. No. Do you see any seeds? Use your eyes real carefully. Yeah, I see some. Where? They're flying around. Oh, there's some flying, there's some bugs. Yeah, there are some flying around. I see them. And there are also some like that aren't flying around that are right in front of your eyes. Yeah, go get one for me. Is that one? Try and get way down at the base. No, there's kind of a oh, I found one. Way down at the bottom. Yeah, there is some poison ivy in here, so you need to be careful of that. I'll point some out to you, okay? Is it poison ivy? Yeah, she found some. Okay, why don't you guys come here and I'll show you some poison ivy so you don't know where to track it down to the root and then you threw it up. Here's one right up here. I'm glad you found that. Come here, right here. Where's poison? Okay, come here, you guys, so you can see. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. That's only. Okay, now if you look down at the very base of this, it's got kind of a You gotta almost dig around it. Oh, good. Thanks. Don't worry about it on your pants. Just kind of hang on to it. Who had the can with the. Blood Can we put some of these in? Oh. Not yet, no. You got it? Already. Let's get a couple more of those plants. Shall we? Shall we? Do get the root. Oh, the blood root. Oh, come on. Come on. Can you get that root down in the bottom? Did you get it? Okay, what's the rule? It's kind of milk. Leafless three, leave it be. Right. We saw a lot of it. Don't All pick right. it up and smear it under your neighbor's, under no. your friend's Guys, chin. Guys, hold it for a minute, please. Okay, this is the way we're going to go down. You're going to go down behind me, or we're going to go down the side because it's real slippery down here from all the rain and the mud. This is where this is least slipped. So one at a time in a single file line. It's easy. Luca slipped down this whole thing. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 we stopped. If you can get down this thing, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> no, we were. So you know when we went, went away from your group, the your went? We were down here. We went down past here. I think. I think that's one. No way. Well, here. Well, here. I'll, I'll give you. I'll hold you. Just don't run. fall, Marvin. <laughs> You. I'll catch you. You got it. Oh, there you go. Very good. Oh, no. Has everybody done it? Yeah. Okay. What did we learn? That we can trust. And see, nobody fell through the circle like they did back there. Here, it's a lot more important. Now, we didn't drop you to the ground, did we? Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. Join in seven, eight. Nine. Nine. <laughs> oh, you didn't make it. Let's, Let's try it again. One way. I'll leave. One by one. Okay, everybody's got to be on the top of Everest for 15 seconds. I'll start counting. Wait, I'm not on yet. Oh. Let's oh. get the mine. Let's get the mine. Let's try to get the mine. What are you going to do? You got mine. People got to hold on. You got to hold on to each other. Eight, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah! Yeah! Everest Group. All right, everybody come on back here. Lavender Group, the Everest Crew. Okay, congratulations. You guys did really well on that. You got up there and you did it really quick. A couple things for you to think about, though. Okay, you all were trying to work together, guys. Okay, things worked out a lot better when I didn't hear a lot of screaming and yelling. Everybody had an idea, but not everybody can tell them their idea at the same time. There's got to be some sort of order to it, okay? When you guys all work together and you figure out the best way, and it all comes together, it works out real well. Um, where were, where were the problems? What was what was messing you up the second, third, and fourth time you tried it? What's it? Hurry up, get out! Okay, there was no time limitation. Why didn't you take your time? There were snakes and mummies in it. Something like that, okay? This is no-no land. You do not want to jump in here, okay? The object is for you guys. In order to pass through this magical field that's around, uh, around the boiling pit, you have to have in your possession the crown jewel of King Tut. So you have to swing across this with the crown jewel, right? You can do whatever you'd like to do. But if you touch, if you touch, the whole group has to go back and we start from scratch, okay? So you got the rope? You got this? Everybody has to get across without touching. That's okay. gonna demand, I'll try. I'll, what, what is it? I'll try it. The whole group has to make it. It's not a question of I'll do it. The whole group has to do it. I'll give you the rope. I'll give you the crown jewel. Let's see what you can do. <laughs> What's your team going to do? How are you guys going to solve this problem? Stick it on your head. Stick it on your head. I found one. Don't hit your head. Do you do it? Can I throw it back? You can do whatever you want to do. Yeah! You mean you don't have to throw it back? There you go, Adam. One of your teammates just stepped into the pit. <laughs> You're back on that side. And Bethany was in it all the time. Oh, that's right. No, what are you doing? Bethany and Bethany. What is your name? Janae. Janae, what are you doing in the pit? I don't know. Okay, I like we're going to have to start playing by the rules here, okay? Uh -oh. Here's the rope. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lost your crown jewel. <laughs> you have to give a runoff. Huh? You'll never make it. You'll never make it. No, you won't. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> hey, if you're not ready to fall, don't fall. Okay, wait up a minute. Okay, just back up just a little bit. You want to get a good line here? Okay. okay you want to fall straight back. That's another responsibility. You have to fall straight back into the middle of the group. Ready? Ready! Ready. Oh. Good. Good. Good job. Good job. Oh, God. How does that feel? Weird. It feels weird. It feels Give weird. This one. But it's fun. Look at that. Okay. Hi. No, no, not you. Now you're in it. I'll give it to you. Okay? Because her feet fall on you two guys, and then most of her body falls right in here, okay? So you guys scooch up. You move over. Cause you want to keep, you want to keep the line yeah, going yeah, straight. Yeah, my head went back. Okay, move back. Over. Okay. Okay. When you're ready, you give the word. Falling ready. Ready. Uh -oh. Falling. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, you move to the end of the line. Oh no. ready. Hold on. No. <laughs> When they say no, then that means a good sign that they're probably not ready. So wait till they're ready. Back up a little bit. Okay, move up just a little bit. Move over here. Move over here. Just come over here a little bit. Okay. Ready?
Okay. Okay, what's the prey then? Somebody raise your hand. Real loud. It, did everybody hear that? No. Okay, real loud so they can all hear you. An animal that gets eaten by a predator. Good, good. Okay, somebody give me an example besides the wolf of a predator and a prey. What's the, maybe an owl. And what would the, the prey be for the owl? Um, like a rat or a mouse. A mouse, okay. What's another one? What, okay, what is that, a predator or a prey? For, of what? Pardon? Birds eggs. eggs, okay. Does anything eat a snake? Yeah. What eats a snake? An eagle. An eagle, okay, good. Okay, so an animal can be a Except for when you're running for your life, okay? If the if the wolves are after you, I'm gonna say run, run, and, we're all, and you guys are all gonna have to run. But as soon as you hear that whistle blow twice, then you all come back, okay? Do anything you want. Yep. But then, see, when the whistle blows twice, you all want to come back to the three of us, okay? So that we get back together as a group. Um, I'm not sure, Gloria or Tony, do you know? Are wolves colorblind? Most, Most dogs, dogs are. Are, yeah. are colorblind. Dogs yeah. are. No, I don't think no, they're they're not. Not. Most dogs, dogs are. Most dogs are colorblind. Yeah. Yeah. But they can totally color. Not totally, no. Yeah. All right. We have to use our hearing really well out there. And that means to hear well, what do we have to do? Boy, not like right now. We have to be real, excuse me, quiet. We don't want to give away our position if we're out there going after other animals, right? <laughs> really? Okay, see you later, weasels. to one of the instructors, to Tony, Gloria, or I. Does everybody remember my name? Uh, I'm Patty. Patty. Chris. Oh, <laughs> I'm Patty. I'm Chris, and who's that? Gloria. And Tony's. Oh. Weasels.
Now, I want you to imagine that this box and myself are chlorophyll control center. We're in charge of the chlorophyll in the control center, and I want to thank you for coming to work at the food factory. You're a leaf, and you're also a food factory. Hmm? And you're going to have to follow my instructions real carefully here. At the food factory, the leaf, we have some important ingredients and in order to make food energy. Food energy is carbohydrates. So what I need you to do is together, one else can think of, you're going to be dependent upon in other ways than to be first. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, what do we got here? We got a tunnel through the middle of a wall, right? Okay, let's, let's, let's see, let's see. You are, okay. Every one of you has to get through there, but when you, when you go through there, it's got this magical force field that paralyzes you, okay? So you can't move, you can't think, you can't talk, you can't even hardly breathe. But you gotta get through there. Who's gonna get you through? Yeah. No, not me. <laughs> I've had nothing to do with it. You better depend on everybody else to get you through. Oh, what was that? Yes. Go be first, let him go be oh. first. Oh. But you'll let us stand. <laughs> oh, 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 we're not on that side. Okay, he's the big one, so everybody work on him. <laughs> push his feet through. I can't even step up on there. No, you can't step up on there, okay? We have to no, push no, you come on, you guys have to play by the rules. You're paralyzed right now, okay? And you can't move. Everyone else has to take care of you. I show up on that side. Oh boy, that's obvious, isn't it? My goodness. You're stiff. Okay. Oh, no, okay. no way. I, I have my feet here. A teeter Oh. Wait. 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 And Brandy goes right, Chris, you have to fit between Amy and Or else yeah. she can see yeah. oh, it. Ouch! And oh, ouch! Oh, my foot. Uh-oh. No, release your leg. Can Chris and Brandy... Oh. Uh, Chris, uh, uh, Chris, uh, Chris, uh, Chris, Chris and Brandy tied to it. Everybody's feet up? Feet up, yep. feet up. Wow. Yeah. Okay, everybody lift their feet uh, up. Everybody's feet off the ground? Yeah, yeah. 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 We okay, get your feet off the ground. Uh, I got a hold of you. Chris uh, and, and me will take it. <laughs> more weight on this side. Chris, oh, Chris, oh, more weight on this side. Let's see. 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 let us see let us see I'm glad you said that. That's one of my favorites. That's a good one. Who else thought of a detective? Raise your hand. I'll point to you. No more detectives in books? I know. The Hardy Boys. That's nothing to laugh about. That's perfect. 
Who? Who are they? Oh, okay. How about, think about this. Think about this. Think about a TV show that's got detected. Oh, this is the easy one. Scooby-Doo, Inspector Gadget. Sure. Scooby-Doo, they're kind of detectives. Tag me and Lacey. Tag me and Lacey. Okay, enough examples. Those detectives all have some things in common. They use their... Brain. Eyes. Eyes. Eyes to... See. They use their... Ears to hear. They use their... Nose to smell. They use their... Hands to feel. Feel around and check stuff out. There might be a dark corner and they have to reach their head around and see what's back there. <laughs> we might not have to do that. But the important thing is they know how to use their senses to their advantage. They know how to talk to them. So, close your eyes. I heard, I'm going to ask you what you heard. Good. Raise your hand, I'll point. Now, if someone says what you heard, you can put your hand down. Let's, uh, let's try here. Birds. You heard, well, how many different kinds of birds? We must be specific. I heard three, maybe four kinds of birds. Good. How about, you had birds too? Okay. Birds? Yeah. Birds? Cricket. cricket. Now, that's a sneaky one, because I don't think the crickets are out yet. They might be. If it wasn't a cricket, what else might it be? Yeah. Mm, not a grasshopper. An amphibian. Poison ivy looks like? Yeah, yeah. 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 three yeah. leaves. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll keep an eye out for it when we go down. And it's shiny. Yeah. 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 A what? Oh, what does it feel like? Dirt. off in the distance as you're looking. It looks like it would be a waterfall. It looks like that one right there. Back through the trees there? Yeah. I think you might be able to Oh, this one right Ooh. there. Get about this far. Ah. Let's let the truck go by. <laughs> You're a white-tailed deer, and you have pretty good eyes. They're not the best, but boy, do you have good ears. They are such good ears. You can hear stuff coming from a mile away, almost. You need to close your eyes. Put your one of your hands over your eyes. Put your left, which hand do you point with? Okay, put your left hand over your eyes. With. Now put your head down so you can't see. Now with your right hand, I want you to point at me. Now, point at me now. You can sit down if you want. Point at me now. Again. Okay, now follow me. Okay, now, since you're a deer, you're gonna have to listen for us. You can open your eyes for a second. We're gonna position ourselves and walk towards you. We're gonna try to stalk you very quietly. And the rest of us are going to be wolves. You're a wolf, you're a wolf, and gosh, both of you are wolves too. If you can sneak up to Lissa and touch her, she is white-tailed deer for dinner. Okay? It's tough though, it's tough to walk in these rocks without making noise. Lissa, when you hear one of us, you point. And if you point at that person, then the person who made the noise should sit down. And I'll say, got one, got one, got one here. And if you get a solid before we touch you, then you're safe. Okay. We'll have a demonstration round, then we'll get another round going for you guys. Okay, close your eyes, put your head down. Now be quiet, you wolves, and you may begin. Got one. Got one. Got one.
See how, see how my feet are, I mean? See how my feet are? Like this, that way you can have a little bit better for you. Okay. Spider ready? Ready. ready. Falling. <laughs> Keep step. Keep step. Remember what I said now, this is fun for him, but it's serious for us, right? So it's not supposed to be a thing where we pass, you know, we're supposed to be serious with him. He's trusting us a lot. Okay, let's, let, let's go. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Don't bend into Renee. <laughs> okay, I think this is good to take your feet like this. You got a little bit of a jab, Wes. Good, good Wes. <laughs> <laughs> good, good job of keeping him up. Go on. You did a good job. You two guys helped him out. That was good. Good job, good job, good job. Good job. Good, very good. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Let's not push her hard now. Good. You all right? <laughs> Different, because this is... Um, it grows on bark. It grows on bark. It grows on rocks and stuff. It's a decomposer. Um, I really, I really don't know. This is a lichen tree. Yeah. It's dried up. No, it's just a different, it's a different variety. There's thousands of different kinds of lichen, and it all depends on the algae, kind of algae and fungus. And it's within it. Okay, should we wander this way and see if we can find some more? Yeah. All kinds of water. Here's the vine. Nope. It doesn't always point north. A lot of times usually. if it grows on trees, well not usually even. A lot of times if it grows on trees it's because the north side of a tree up here is more moist, so that it needs moisture to grow. So that's why that would happen, but it doesn't always happen. It sure helps. Can you tell us something that's that's a benefit about moss? Oh I don't want to. Can we stay in with the group I please? I know. Okay, how about you know anything? Can you think of anything at all? I okay. Know. Okay. Um, like if you lost in the woods, it helps you tell the direction of north because um, the north side of the tree is always wet, or not always, but usually wet. The north side of the tree is always wet. Uh huh, but if you saw it, sometimes it does grow on the south side, so you could get lost. Just look for the vast majority of the north side of the tree. Vast There's majority. A carrot in there. That might work, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't There's rely on it heavily, but it might work. Yeah. Did you have something done? Well, um. Live in the moss. What lives in the moss? I'm sorry. There's some kind of little animals. Some kind of little animals? Like tiny little wet spiders. Yeah, little spiders live on moss sometimes. You see them building their webs on it. Moss is also what we call a decomposer. Can we put the sticks down? And Thank you. Do you guys know what a decomposer is? Yeah. What's a decomposer? It's, it's something like, um, when a person dies, he decomposes. Okay. Like, he, he turns into a skeleton. I see
penny, a penny, yay, yay. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah.